I'd just like to inform people uh, how we got on with a meeting with the ACC uh, with Oslin. It was a very good meeting and there was 20 odd relatives there to do with the King's Mills uh, massacre and I have to say a group of people you would expect an odd one not to be singing from the same hymn sheet, but they are. They're singing quite clearly from the same hymn sheet. And I think uh, the ACC seen that himself. But at long last, we're starting to see movement. Uh, thankfully, when we spoke to the, the ACC, he basically agreed with a lot of things that we raised and a lot of points that we've been going on about over this last uh, number of years, especially this last number of months when it's come to dealing with the HET. This group of individuals were involved in over a hundred odd murders and numerous other incidents. We have always said that this needed to be looked at, not in isolation, not in just the slaughter that took place at King's Mill that night, but the other slaughter that these people were responsible for. The likes of the Taliban's, the people that were kidnapped and tortured uh, before they were murdered, the murder of women, the murder of individuals who were out doing day's work. These people have a lot to answer for. Like last week at the, we had the parade in Camelot of Raymond McCrish as if he was some type of uh, glorified freedom fighter. Raymond McCrish is one of the scum who was involved in the murder of people at King's Mills and also in the murder of numerous other individuals and also quite possibly mass murder at other incidents. Also, this was the man who was the milkman. He went round Protestant homes, talking and joking and uh, going in and having a cup of tea in their homes and then coming back, as we know for definite, in one incident, uh, a few days before the King's Mill massacre. He was at that man's home, he had a cup of tea, he helped him with the uh, kettle and he came back that night and tried to murder him. Even though the individual was hit a number of times, he survived. But at long last, we're getting South Alma looked at as the same way you would look at a serial killer. Only we're talking a bunch of serial killers. And this is the way that this, these incidents need to be looked at. Finally, they're going to be looked at that way. Well, at long last, we believe we will start to see arrests. It'll take a few months, but we now know every individual that was involved in the King's Mills, and indeed quite a number of other mothers as well, and indeed even the old father's mother. Um, there's individuals where there's going to be no choice but to arrest them, and perhaps the HET had overlooked things, I don't know, but it was quite clear after that meeting the other day that uh, things are not going to be overlooked and political interference is not going to be allowed to happen. These individuals will be held responsible. We can't say we're going to hold every one of them responsible, but we made a commitment to the families and to the, the victims in South Anmah that we would expose these people at the very least. And I am quite happy to sit here and say that I now believe that that is going to happen. I, I have to say that uh, I was quite pleased with uh, the ACC that we met. Um, his response, his knowledge. Basically, the, the meeting itself was very constructive. And it's not often I say that. And Jerry Adams, these people can walk along the road and smile and glorify them and make them out to be something that they weren't. But we're coming for you. 
And when I say that, I mean literally coming as far as using the law. At long last, you will see the law being used inside that man. And Mr. Liddell, you know, we haven't forgot about you. Or the Hardys, we haven't forgot about you. Uh, you know, we all see in the eye at that time, we haven't forgot about you. We now know exactly what part you played in uh, the King's Mills and the Tully Vaughan's and the shooting of Ollie Clark and uh, the murder of Willie Meekland the murder of Joe McCullough and the murder of Barry Fraser the, uh, the, the Tully Vaughan murders just the name Joe Porter uh, we now have enough we believe to bring some of these to account you will not get away with writing the history of South Armagh the way you think you've got away with it. Even though some of the funders are pumping hundreds of thousands of pounds into organisations which is writing the story for the IRA in South Armagh. Well, the victims are here and we're here to stay. The victims will tell the truth about what went on in South Armagh and indeed within other communities. But we're dealing with South Armagh. We can only answer for South Armagh. And this, I would say to the bogies in South Armagh, we just haven't got away with it. These will around the world be known for what these are. Gaddafi's henchmen. Gaddafi's serial killers. Because that's who trained you, armed you, and financed you. That's who Slav Murphy uh, went out to get the money, to get the weapons. Uh, you know, the Godfather in South Armagh was one of Gaddafi's main contacts. Well, I wonder if Slav thinks of contacting Gaddafi today. We didn't think that he would be held accountable for what he did, but he is. And so, at the minute, Ireland has become a safe haven for international terrorists. There's warrants out for the rest of people to do with Colombia, uh, with ETA, with numerous terrorist organisations. So perhaps they should start off by checking out Slab Murphy's house. Uh, because there's a good chance Gaddafi and them are lying with their feet up watching TV in his house because these are the people who have helped terrorists from all over the world and more their people in Spain and Italy and Colombia you name it these people have been involved with them and indeed Al Qaeda have been involved with the IRA as well the IRA has used their safe havens, their international contacts to move these people around different parts of the world. So maybe Gaddafi got a boat to Cork and then up to Slab's house. I don't know, it's worth checking out. <laughs>